Faithful General is a local construction company in Atlanta, and I am in love with their Sweet Dash account. Of course, we set it up, and it is brilliant because they have access to everything they need on the dashboard. But really and truly, we want to introduce staffs into this portal. Unaware of how to add new staff into Sweet Dash, let's start by clicking on the right menu at the top and going to staff slash team. You're going to then click on manage staff. Once you click there, you'll be redirected to the staff homepage and you'll be able to see the ability to add a new staff member. Adding a staff member is very easy. Clicking on the add staff member, you can add all of the information for that staff member here. You can select a specific role for that staff. I'm going to use the admin and then I'm also going to add the email that will be associated for this staff and because I have pre-populated information, I'm just going to do it this way. You can add all the information from their first, middle, and last, their display name if you want them to not say Marie, but you wanted to say M. Lewis or something like that, you can add that there. You can also set their time zone and you can create any folder generators, select any of the LMS products as well as checklist items and onboarding flows for them. I'm not going to do this in this round, but I am going to send them this um, immediate prop portal access. What this will do is send them an email that you've already generated to their portal. While they're getting that email, I do want to set up now a new document document for them to be able to sign upon check-in. So what I will do is go to documents and I'm going to go over to templates to begin this document. And then I'm simply going to create this template by pressing the add template button. Sweet Dash has already created a document target type for staff. This is a new feature that has just been released and I want to show you exactly how to use it. So similar to sending a new document to a contact, you can now send it to a staff member. So I'm going to go ahead and erase the template and add my own row as well as edit this text box to add my own messaging. So now here I've already added all of the information I needed. I've adjusted all of the fields that I need to and I've added all the custom fields that I need to as well. The important thing to do as well, because I did add organization signature is required, I just need to add the staff member who needs to sign. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add the title of this. I just call it the independent contract um, agreement and we'll take all of that extra stuff out. And then we're going to go ahead now and just save this as a template. Assuming that the new staff member has already signed up and I want to make sure that any automations that I want for the staff will be assigned here. So you can make those adjustments here as well. They are going to be very tailored to the target of the staff and not to the target of the CRM contact. So you can go ahead and do that by adding them to teams, adding them to schedules, assigning them to on demand flows, all of the greatest things that Sweet Dash does already. Once that is completed and set up, you can go ahead now and send them the template. Let's go ahead and do that. We're going to go to documents and we're going to add a new document and we're going to make sure that we select the items for the staff member. So when you are setting a new document, you can add the title to be anything you'd like. I'm going to go ahead and call it independent contractor agreement. I'm going to make sure I toggle over to staff and select the user that I do want to send this template to. I have to also select the template, which is going to be that same contract. And then here, it's going to pre-populate all the information that we've already assigned to it. You can also adjust the template as needed here. So if you want to go in, make adjustments to the fees or anything you have here. So for example, I'm going to put this with a one here. It will automatically do that there for you. Now, if you wanted to preview it so that you can see what they see, you can do that here as well as a document preview. So this is going to be what they see as they come in. And as you can see, their name is displayed there. Um, and all of the information that we've pre-populated is also going to show up. Then we're going to go ahead and make this a generated document by clicking generate document. We can also adjust the 
email that is going to be sent automatically here. Let's see what the staff has actually received. So on this side, they're going to get a notification that says a document has been assigned to you. You're also going to get an email that also says the same exact thing. But once they click this notification, it's going to take them over to that document. They'll review the document and make sure that they agree with all the terms that has been displayed to them. And then they're going to scroll down and they're going to do all of the information that is required of them, which is to sign. And they're going to add their signature. So as the organizer, you will come down and you will notice that the contractor has already signed the agreement. So now you can go ahead and do all of the things here as well. Now you see that the contractor and the company has signed the document in completion. If you scroll down a little further, you'll also be able to see the audit trail. This will allow you to see who signed, when they signed, and how they signed. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it, and I hope that you have fun sending new documents to your staff. Take care.